Why did people drop out of school and work massively in 2021? And what activity does not require large investments, but at the same time can bring large income? Okay, last time we figured out how play to earn games differ from traditional ones and also learned top 5 blockchain games according to famous crypto publishers. So be sure to check it out. However, today's question is where to find play to earn games for beginners? How to understand in which game can get more profit? So today you'll feel like new commander and find out where to find fantastic games. Okay, to find your game, use websites that run crypto games and other apps. There are usually several indicators on such platforms. The first is the price of game token. So if it's high, this indicates people's interest in trust. However, this changes very quickly depending on market sentiment. The second one is trading value for 24 hours, meaning how many times people bought and sold these tokens during the last day. So basically by that, you can tell how popular game assets are right now. The third one is market capitalization or shortly market cap, the current value of all game tokens. How it's calculated? Well, the number of all tokens that currently exist is multiplied by their market value. This is also how the demand and value of the token among players are estimated. The fourth indicator here is the network or blockchain. So always pay attention to this. So if you've watched our previous video, you know already that the blockchain, which is digital storage of data blocks, is a base for play to earn games. So this indicator means in which system all game operations take place. It can be Ethereum, BNB chain, Polygon, Solana, and many, many others. You can also buy and sell game tokens within this blockchain, so be very careful with transactions here. And finally, the fifth one. Some sites display the number of unique wallet addresses authorized in the game at a certain time. As you can guess, the more such users join the game, the more users like it. The popularity of the game token also depends on this, and in general, its price can be increased due to the high number of users. That's why you should pay attention to these key indicators to determine which game is worth your attention. And so, speaking of the exact platforms that run games and gaming tokens, for example, you can choose CryptoRank.com or CoinMarketCap, and of course, DAPRADAR which we've used during this video. So we've used this service to check out the rating of the best P2E games. And I hope you are already taking notes because you will definitely need this knowledge. But first, a quick guide to the platform itself. On the main DApp Radar page, click Export DApps and select Games from the categories. Ready? Now you can track which games have become more popular among players over the past month week or day. This will allow you to decide whether to join the project or not. So we have selected the best games in terms of trading value for the last month so that you can join the most profitable ones. Okay, no more talking. I will review all the cards right now. So the fifth place, Nine Chronicles. Okay, fantasy lovers, this game is definitely for you. Nine Chronicles is an MMORPG set in a massive fantasy world. Here, players are given the freedom to play the way they want to. So explore, craft, mine resources, or manage unique, modable, open source adventure. To start playing, just install the game on your Windows PC and log in via email. An amazing world with different game modes will open up for you. The game is built on the developer's own blockchain called Planetarium. Okay, in the main campaign mode, you fight fierce opponents in 300 stages to get to the end of the world. By defeating enemies in the campaign stages, you get materials for crafting cool items. It gets even better when you progress, beat stronger opponents, and get even cooler stuff 
and increase your powers. You can also fight other players in the PvP arena mode and get cool prizes to upgrade your characters. It is also a great place for tournaments, where you compete for prizes like in-game tokens called NCG, as well as unique non-fungible digital items, aka NFTs. Of course, it is all for a limited period of time. The main difference between Nine Chronicles and other play-to-earn games is the endless modability of the game world. So players use open source code and create interesting modes. So the game is constantly evolving and attracting more players. Okay, for the past month, the game has over $12 million in its trading value with over 31,000 unique users. And this is only the fifth place in our ranking, guys. Fourth place, Gods Unchained. Okay, you may have played card games on a PC, such as very popular example here, Hearthstone. So if you did, then Gods Unchained should be quite familiar to you. But if you are who doesn't know what I'm talking about, I'll tell you right away what it is. Gods Unchained is a fantasy game on the Ethereum blockchain, where you collect decks of cards with mythical characters, develop various battle strategies, and also beat your opponents to get some rare NFT cards. Unlike Hearthstone, the cards in the game are digital assets with some real price, so they can be sold or bought on the marketplace or crypto, of course. Just create an account using your email, the game will automatically start installing on your PC. After that, log in with the password you have created. In the beginning, you will receive a welcome set of 70 cards divided into 6 decks. Each character on the map has its own strength, power, hits, mana, health, and unsurpassed charisma. So the thing is, you collect decks of cards from 30 pieces and enter the arena to fight against online players in the real world. You must think over the battle tactics, build high quality defenses, and strategically defend your opponents in the battle. And yeah, just by playing the game, regardless of winning or losing, you will gain experience and level up. With each level, you will receive card sets as rewards. On their Immutable X marketplace, in the buy and sell section, you can trade cards and even get ETH, which is equivalent to a certain amount of USD. Over the past month, almost 13,000 players have joined God's Chain, and the in-game trading volume was $13.6 million. And this game is the fourth in our top. Third place, Burger Cities. Here you can also trade assets or digital land and receive game tokens in return, which can then be exchanged for cryptocurrency on the marketplace. Okay, if you're not familiar with blockchain games before, this game can remind you of multiplayer interactive games such as Minecraft or The Sims. However, they are not quite the same. If you enjoy interacting with other players, you like battles, unique events, and completing tasks, and even getting nice rewards in the form of NFTs, then you can try Burger Cities powered by BNB Chain. And yeah, logging in is quite simple, you just need a crypto wallet, for example, Metamask. Of course, it can be installed as a browser extension and then be connected to the game. It's quite simple, basically. So, let's have a look at these stats. Trading volumes of Burger Cities are now over $18 million and over 486,000 unique players have joined this game in the last month. Just amazing. Okay, the second place in our top, DeFi Kingdoms. And last month, it has amassed $19.5 million in trading volume and 18.4k unique users. Basically, it is a browser-based MMORPG with fascinating middle-aged lore, working on the Harmony blockchain. The game world is inhabited by pixel characters, each of which is represented in the form of NFT. So they spend their days exploring taverns, banks, gardens, and other locations. Existing heroes can summon new ones, allowing players to collect resources with them and win battles for rewards. And yeah, you should be aware that joining the game requires a small investment. 
you will need to buy a jewel game token to pay a small fee for character registration. After that, you log into the website through your crypto wallet and select Enter Christaville to create a character. Each hero has its own class from jungler to wizard. And yeah, like in every MMORPG, you see health stats, stamina, elements, rarity, and etc. Created heroes can't be sent on adventures or quests. They will complete tasks and receive jewel tokens as reward, which can then be sold on the crypto market. So depending on the class of your character, you can choose the type of quest. The quest of miner, for example, a gardener or wizard, so you know the drill. So just basically train your heroes on training quests to complete more cooler tasks. Addictive gameplay and multiple ways to earn rewards make DeFi Kingdoms one of the most popular play-to-earn games nowadays. First place, Axe Infinity. So this game is just legend. In 2021, Filipinos even drop out of school and work to start earning about $1,800 a month. The excitement that grows around this game is still remembered. At the moment, in the last 30 days alone, the volume of trading in the game has exceeded $69 million, and about 189k people have become new users. So why is Axie Infinity so popular? Of course, because it opens up opportunities for large earnings. When the AXS game token reached its maximum price of $160 in November 2021, people were making excellent profits for relatively simple actions. However, you can join the game only with investments. You must buy three unique Axie digital pets on the game marketplace. However, right now they are quite inexpensive, but the price depends on their unique abilities. Well, obviously, the cooler the pet, the higher its price in the marketplace. In the game, you can cross Axie and get more powerful animals. Usually, teams of three pets fight against each other. The winners are rewarded with SLP tokens, which also have a real value and can be exchanged for another cryptocurrency on the market. You can also try yourself in PvE mode and fight mobs for a reward. So basically, what I'm trying to say is that there are a lot of options for you to spend your time in the game. Well, Axe Infinity is not as profitable as it was back in 2021, but still fun and addictive. So I think, in any case, you can get valuable gaming experience. Today, you learned that people were ready to quit their jobs for the Axie Infinity game. And yeah, almost all blockchain games do not require large investments to start playing. So we hope you will find a profitable and exciting game for you. See you soon.